chairs. You can land this thing uphill. Look at that. I just landed uphill with the wind and the glider's chasing me, but it's still easy to do. The Alpine Peak is the ticket. Let's see. Is that a good enough glider layout? What do you think? Let's try this. Alpine Peak makes it so easy. This is crazy. This Alpine Peak is so ridiculously easy because it's so light. It weighs, it weighs nothing. Look at this. One, one pinky. Woo! <laughs> one pinky. The whole glider. I mean, <laughs> it just weighs nothing. That's why it's so incredibly easy to launch. Also, the design, it has about a nine and a half to one glide ratio. The thing is incredible. Plus the handle and you see me doing the whoop de doos Woo Man, is that fun! This glider's a total blast. The DHV-1 safest gliders generally suck so bad I'd never fly one. But this is the first DHV-1 glider that I love to fly. I look forward to this. This is my baby. It just, man, you could just leave it in the wad and launch it without even laying it out. Now that's ridiculously easy to launch. Woo! The flat top with the quick release harness. Super easy to get into. And this is the lightest paramotor in its class with 196 pounds of thrust. It is the most powerful, unbelievably freaking awesome paramotor on earth. That's why all the cool people fly them. Check this out. Oh, electric start. Woo! Really? You mean you don't have to get a pull start? <laughs> Who the heck is selling pull start? Man, this is a flat top. We got out of the Stone Age, well, back in the Stone Age.